Ooh. Hello? <laughs> hello? Hello, 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 hello. Hi, guys. So welcome to this live stream. It's good to see you all again. Mm. I'm gonna give a few moments, let people get in, but um, before I started this session, I felt like I wanted to get, um, a, 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 okay, a reason for this reading, okay, but like a headline, a title. I wanted to get a title for it before I started. And here we are. Um, and what came through is something is hidden in plain sight. I don't know what this is. Um, I'm, I've been trying to feel it out. I've been trying to get a sense of it. Um, and also, this justice card... Good morning, Jessica. This justice card here keeps flipping out. Um... And I feel like this is connected to it. Ooh. And then I just split the deck and we're at the lovers. Something is hidden in plain sight, y'all. Why? What's the deal with this? We have the Six of Cups here too. And then finally, the Page of Swords. Four of Cups, the Empress. Something is hidden in plain sight. All right, we're gonna look at this, guys. We're gonna get into this, um, see what this is for the collective. Happy Sunday, if you're watching this on Sunday. Um, on, if you're here in the live, welcome. Um, this is most likely going to end up on YouTube sometime. Um, so, yeah. If you want to play this back or whatever, you can always... I mean, it, it's going to be up here too, but it's going to be on YouTube eventually, okay? So over on my YouTube channel, so check that out. All right, but... Um, I'm hearing hidden in plain view. Clear as day, clear for the eye to see. But the thing about this is, guys, whatever this is for you, I feel like either you're denying this fully or there is an aspect of it, an aspect to it that you're denying. There's something specific for some of you here. There is something specific about it that you're just not willing to, I'm hearing touch or go through with yet, maybe even look at. But something is hidden in plain view. And we are going to see what it is. Yes? All right, Spirit. What do you have for the collective at this time? What is hidden in plain view that you just don't want to see? Okay, why don't you want to see it is the first question I have here. Hi, Liz. Why don't you want to see it then? Two more shuffles, that's one. And this is two. Okay. Why don't you, why don't you want to see it yet? Why don't you want to look at it? <laughs> the first card you have is the King of Swords reversed. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why? It's hidden in plain sight. The devil? The devil. The Four of Wands. Better the devil you know is what I'm hearing. That's why you're not looking at this. That's why you're not wanting to see it. Better the devil you know. And then yet you have the Knight of Swords here. And the Three of Pentacles. Um, you might be really torn about this right now. Well, actually, no. This Knight of Swords energy feels very defensive. Uh, but then you have the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck underneath, uh, or as, the, as the overall energy here, I feel like you're being defensive because you're working on yourself, or somebody is. And that's why something may be hidden, okay, so I'm hidden in plain sight, I'm getting an energy of um, uh, somebody hunkering down. Okay, look, first of all, King of Swords reversed the devil, and then the Four of Wands. This Four of Wands feels like home. Someone is spending a lot of home time alone, or at least is wanting to be, or maybe is needing to be. For some of you, I am feeling like you are fighting someone, other people, other energies off in some way, defending yourself. 
Why is the devil here? Death to the two of wands. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. And then you have the Empress at the bottom of the deck now. Okay, so um, somebody's making a choice here. Because now, because, because again, something is hidden in plain sight. You're not wanting to look at something. Um, someone is not wanting, is not, not seeing something clearly. Okay. Um, but I also, at the same time, I'm hearing they're trying to view the situation from a different perspective. And I feel like also the message here is better the devil you know. Okay. I feel like someone is cutting ties, is working on, is actively working on cutting ties with toxic lower vibrational energies. Better the devil you know, and yet you're releasing this aspect. So this might have been something that you, uh, okay, so the Diablo, the, the devil is, um, what is the devil? It's toxic, it's low vibrational, it's some sort of attachment. For some of you, it may be a relationship. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a connection to certain people. Toxic, lower vibrational ties to certain people. And what I feel here is hidden in plain sight is you are hidden in plain sight. So some of the people that are around you, that you are actively working on relieving yourself of the ties with. It's like, <laughs> it's almost like you're doing it right in front of them. They don't know. They can't see it. And that's, that's the thing. That's, that may actually be driving you even more. That may be actually causing you to fight back even more with this Knight of Swords energy. Because then I clarified, why is the devil here? And you have the Two of Wands with death. Okay, so someone is making a choice, a decision that is ending a certain cycle with someone else. And they're having to fight back. You're having to fight against it. You are having to hide this aspect. So this King of Swords, because this King of Swords in reverse is now looking like someone being secretive, someone not telling the truth, someone not communicating. Okay, because as I was talking through this, I was thinking, it's interesting that we don't have the Seven of Swords here because the Seven of Swords could represent that. Someone working, um, uh, being secretive or doing something, uh, being strategic, okay, P trying to play their cards right. It's not always a, a toxic energy. Okay, it's it can be a very strategic energy, but then as I was thinking that that's when I looked my attention was taken to the king of swords The king of swords reversed is also representing this aspect Now for some of you here I just heard the very fact that you were deceitful with me is causing me to now turn the tides and be deceitful with you in the very same ways the <laughs> This is similar to a reading a message that I pulled um, Recently, it might have been for Ophiuchus over on your new channel um, Tarot echoes voice of Ophiuchus uh, But um, I don't remember exactly but there was this energy here of someone using the toxic tactics that that person used against them while you were in that relationship to actually get away from this person you're using it against them now. What reading was that? I think it was Ophiuchus. I think it was an Ophiuchus reading. Uh, which would make sense though, too, because the death here, letting go of the devil you know philosophy. Yes, that's right. Um, death here also represents Scorpio energy. I've been doing a lot of readings for Ophiuchus and Scorpio energy has been all over Ophiuchus's readings right now. I mean, not to mention the fact that Ophiuchus is in between Sagittarius and Scorpio, but there is an actual a scorpionic eighth house activation that is creating a lot of Scorpio energy. And so this, I'm um, sorry, the death card here has been coming out a lot lately. So you may be an Ophiuchan that resonates with this. And if you are an Ophiuchan that resonates with this and you're new to me, check out uh, my YouTube channel. You check out Divine Conversations, but also check out your channel. Okay, Tarot Echoes, Voice of Ophiuchus, right? Fighting back. You, and, and then, and then, yeah, see, at the bottom of the deck here for this person, for you, uh, you do have the Empress here. And with the Empress, I'm hearing working with universal energies to cultivate what it is you're seeking, what it is you are desiring, okay? This is abundance. I feel like this is um, the abundance of the universe enveloping you and working with you uh, to achieve your goal, Okay. Um, I, 
I want to talk about this Knight of Swords energy for you. Okay, what uh, I also kind of want to say what's next, but Knight of Swords. Let's start here. Talk, tell me about the Knight of Swords for the collective here. Seven of Pentacles. I'm hearing you're fighting back because you're seeing clearly uh, you're desiring change. You're recognizing that the situation is not going to change. The Knight of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles here feels like someone cutting the weeds because the Seven of Pentacles is that energy of having planted the seeds and letting the situation grow and develop and getting to the Seven of Pentacles situation and realizing and saying to yourself, um, is this really what I want? And for some of you here, you are finally getting to the point where you're recognizing, no, this is not what I want. And so because of that, you have the King of Swords reversed here. So then also this King of Swords is actively saying no to something and or someone. Again, absolutely. This, you are, this person or you are saying no to the devil you know. That is what's hidden in plain sight here. And what's also making you or this situation hidden in plain sight to someone else is that the... Um, the frequency, the energy, the vibration, your vibration is changing. You are reaching higher vibratory levels to where it's like you can't, they can't see you anymore. You changed realms, you changed dimensions and they can't see you. They can't perceive of the truth of your actions is what, I hope that's coming across right. It's like they see you, obviously you're standing right there. We're in physical existence, but in terms of how you're moving, the way you're thinking, trying to plan your next move, trying to, you know, trying to keep up with you or something like that, they can't even, they can't see you. They can't see the reasons why, they're, why you're doing behind what it is you're doing. And so therefore they can't circumvent it. Therefore they can't stop you. Okay. And now because of this, you, you are recognizing this. You are now cutting the weeds. You're saying, no, this is not working for us. This is not working for me. Okay. Knight of Swords. Tell me the Knight of Swords, please. Six of Cups. The past. The past is the past. Wanting to leave it there. Wanting to leave the past there. Whoop. Ooh. And as I'm saying that, baby, you got the Eight of Cups. <laughs> yes. Yes, bitch. I know that's right. And then Six of Pentacles to the Hermit. There you go. Okay, so this is more... Ooh, yes. Okay, here's the Hermit right here. Virgo energy, of course. Okay. Um, we also have... Yes, we do have Scorpio. We have Capricorn. Uh, we now have Aries because the Queen of Wands is showing up. We have Aquarius with the King of Swords. Um, or any air or fire sign. Um... Take it if take it if it resonates. Uh, also, the Knight of Swords, but um, the Hermit here. This is also uh, someone being in Hermit mode. This is also someone um, being in that energy of just wanting to stay to themselves, um, doing that soul search, that soul searching, that deep work. Okay. Now, as you are in this Hermit energy, all right. For some of you, that's one part. Let me stick to that for a second. As you are in this hermit energy, this deep soul searching, sticking to yourself, um, you're also getting into alignment, queen of wands. As you're, you're going through this transformation, death, and as you're doing this in this hermit mode here, yeah, look at this, you guys. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. It's the hermit to the seven of wands, to the seven of cups. I mean, this person is really, or you are really defending yourself against any sort of illusion, and you are focusing seriously on your own inner light and allowing that to shine or desiring that to shine. You are clearing away illusions. This person is clearing away illusions as they stay, as you stay in this hermit energy. You're going through this transformation and this transformation is allowing you to get into greater alignment with what it is you truly want. And that starts, that process is initiated by you or this person saying no to, d to the devil that you or they know. I'm gonna have to change the title here because that's really the that's really the topic here. Hidden in plain sight, saying no to the devil you know. Good for you. That is excellent. Let's talk about this energy then. So um, this devil. Oh, see, look at this, you guys. Look at this. Where is it? 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 Right here. It's right here. You or this person are walking away from this situation in terms of desiring greater reciprocity. Do you see me shaking? It's because the energy is so crazy. Someone is walking towards greater reciprocity right now, right? So now I'm looking, I wanna look at this devil energy, this talks, I wanna look a little bit into this here to get you guys some more clarity, to get a, greater, get a greater understanding of this, even though you're already moving in the right direction, but I'm being guided, inf guided influenced. Looking at this aspect is necessary. Okay. 
and I, I have another deck here and the six of pentacles is at the bottom of it. I haven't shuffled it at all. I haven't used it in a while. I just picked it up because it felt like it called. Just saying. All right, let's talk about this devil. What's this toxic energy, spirit? What clarity can you bring to the collective in terms of this low vibrational energy? The toxic ties. The ties you wear. Ooh, okay. The ties you wear. The ties, not in like a suit and tie. I mean like how these two individuals are chained to this devil here. The ties that you wear, that you put on yourself, you are choosing to wear these ties. These people are only bound to this devil because they choose to allow that chain to stay around their neck. They are choosing to wear that chain. They are choosing to wear that tie. <laughs> Hi, you woman, you. Um, yeah, we're going deeper. We're going deeper in on this devil right here. So let's check it out. Uh, three shuff, three more shuffles here. All right, look. Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. Working towards greater happiness. Tell me more about this devil, please, spirit, for the collective. What clarity can you bring to the collective in terms of this devil energy, spirit? What clarity? Here we go. The devil. Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, not the Eight of Pentacles. No, the Seven. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. You guys, you can't make this stuff up. We were just talking about this. <laughs> the very first card out. I don't know why, I don't know why I still get so surprised when this shit happens. It always still amazes me, but whatever, I shouldn't be surprised. But anyway, tell me about this devil. What's the devil? Tell us, tell us. I mean, there's confirmation right there that, it, that the six of pentacles just flashed again. Didn't come out, but it flashed. But that's confirmation right there for somebody here that this situation is just not gonna work out. And you need to stop denying it, I just heard. Tell me about this devil. Toxic ties that you wear. Ooh. Okay, so the reason why we're looking into the devil here, it's not because we're trying to be toxic and low vibrational and all that stuff and gossipy. No, the reason why I was guided to look into the devil here, please excuse the chickens, is that um, somebody needs this confirmation, needs to hear this from a third party who is not in, is not in, the, is not invested in the situation, okay? I don't know you from Adam or Eve, right? You need to understand that this shit is just not gonna work out. Okay, fighting over and over and over again. Five of Wands over nothing. I'm hearing, I'm feeling over nothing. Literally nothing. This is not a good match. Three of Cups reversed, or at least what once was a fun thing, a happy marriage. It's, no, this isn't fun anymore. The relationship is no longer there. The emotion is no longer there. The, the, the feelings are no longer there. In some cases, the feelings have been turned to hate and or rage. Justice is the only card that is up right here. You need to hear this message. By this situation, relationship, marriage ending, you are bringing justice to your situation, to your life. It is justified. The tower. A leaf just fell on me. Was it a leaf or was it a lizard? It might have been a lizard. The tower. More Scorpio energy, Scorpionic energy, deeply transformative though, okay? You, maybe an Ophiuchen. Or maybe for some of you, maybe you're a Scorpio, maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, or maybe um, you have something in the constellation of Scorpio that's being activated, something with in your chart, I don't know, whatever. But the Scorpio energy would also represent the transformation anyway. You don't have to have any sort of Scorpio activation to, <laughs> to be transforming. Okay, okay, Eric, you're over-explaining. <laughs> okay. Um, is that it? <sighs> a 
Okay, I'm going to try and end this on a lighter note um, and get some encouraging messages from the romance angels. Last shuffle. Closing message here. Encouragement, please. Oh. What? <sighs> Soulmate. New love. Deception. So this may be also something that's hidden in plain sight too. <clears throat> and I'm also getting this is why this is being hidden because it needs to be hidden from this toxic individual, this devil energy. This devil uh, uh, may be or has been trying to get their hands into the situation. This devil would ruin the situation even if they are just so oblivious or just so, uh, I don't know. I don't know what term to use without sounding condescending or insulting or anything like that. I don't. I don't know. But um, they just don't get it, you know. And they're and they're, they don't meet, really mean any harm. Some are malicious. Some are not. But well, it, regardless, regardless as to why, it needs to be hidden for the time being. I'm hearing. That's a good thing, though. Um. One more, one more pull. Okay, and then that's it, all right. And then, okay, you have let your friends help you and then um, calling in your soulmate, because you're, so you're actively doing this, someone is, this person is, yeah, the big tower moment is that they're leaving. <laughs> and then you have give your relationship a chance. Okay then. Okay, guys, there you have it. Yeah, there you go. Excellent, Liz. I love that for you. I love you guys. Oof. Hold on. Mm. Y'all, it has been so hot. Mm. You like my gallon, my jug of water? Um, ooh, that's good. Okay, it's coming. Quick, it quickly approaching. It has been so freaking hot, y'all. Oh, and I've been, I've been sweating just standing around. Just standing. And I work in a kitchen. <laughs> ooh, that reminds me. I gotta remember to take um, a bandana with me. <laughs> because the amount of sweat pouring. I am so grateful that I haven't sweat into somebody's food. <laughs> I shouldn't be telling you this. Anyway, it's been hot. I like it though. I love the heat. Mm, I love fire. I mean, I'm all a big, I'm a walking ball of fire. So that makes sense, right? <laughs> I love fire. <laughs> oh, and I love you guys too. Thank you for being here. I hope this was <clears throat> helpful for you. No, no more. We're done. Okay, Spirit is saying there is one more card to pull. pull. Cassette. Cassette. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over your head. Um, okay, the message here, you guys, is stop replaying the old events in your head, both for the old person and for the new person, if you are, if you have one. Um, if this is a case where you're hiding, uh, keeping a new situation under wraps. In this, especially if you guys are in separation, stop playing, stop playing the old memories in your head. Just stop. It's not worth it anymore. Stop it. <gasps> the kids are back. Oh my God, you guys. There were these, there are these two birds. I can't remember their names. The type, I can't remember the name of the type of bird they are. But, and I don't know if you can actually see them, but they are beautiful. There are these two, is that one? Yes, that is one of them. And look, it flies into, it's flying into my, you guys, these two little birds 
perch over here. Oh my God, it's so cute. They perch over here and they fly into, see there, it just did it again. You saw it go back. They fly into the mirror on my door as if maybe like they're, they're thinking it's like a way forward, a passageway. They were even doing it over here. I used to have something um, that would cover my car, um, but then Fiona ripped the tarp off, so I don't use it anymore. But they would perch on the bars of that, like while I'm sitting here, very close to me, and then do the same thing into my car window. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's cute, but I keep, I'm constantly afraid they're gonna hurt themselves. <laughs> Oh my God, but it's adorable. But they hadn't been there for the longest time. They went away for a while. Well, uh, my energy was not conducive to their <laughs> being here was <laughs> for a while. <laughs> so, okay, that makes sense. Um, but they're back and it's adorable. All right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna go now. I love you. I hope you have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon, yes? Bye. <laughs> bye 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 bye